artists. Today we're going to make a PSA poster. That's a public service announcement, including a screaming shark. So grab your favorite supplies and meet me back here. Now you can use whatever size paper you have with you right now, as long as you can make your paper vertical, that is up and down. First thing we're going to do is find the spot to start our shark's nose. Now, if you notice, our shark is going at a diagonal. It's not perfectly straight up and down. So the first thing, I'm gonna try and find the middle of my paper. I'd say that's probably a good spot. And then I'm just gonna go over just a little bit and I'm gonna make myself a little point. From that point, we're gonna make our first line it's gonna curve down. This almost looks like a triangle, but if you notice, the sides are not perfectly straight like triangles we know. They curve just a little bit. Think of a frown line to help you. I'm gonna start at this point, and I'm going to curve down one direction, and then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to curve down the opposite way. So now I have the top or the back and the line for the belly of my shark. The next line we're going to make is this curve right here. And that line's gonna help us separate the top of the shark and the belly of the shark. And I'm gonna use what's kind of like a candy cane line. It's gonna curve at the top and then go straight down. So that's gonna help us separate what is the top from the bottom of our shark. Next, let's go ahead and add the fin. So we're gonna use two frowny lines to help make our fin. And I'm gonna start with one frown and from where I ended, I'm gonna pick it right back up and make a second frowny line. Now, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause this video, finish up where you are before you hit play. So now that we've finished our fin, let's move on to the mouth. We're gonna use the letter C to help us make the shape of the mouth. And the bigger C that you write, the bigger the mouth. So I'm gonna start and try to fill up as much as I can. So there I have my C. And inside that C, we are going to use triangles to make the teeth of our shark. Now that we have the teeth of our shark, we can also add a little tongue if you want. You can use a rainbow line at the bottom, just above the bottom teeth. Before we finish up and make our speech bubble for our screaming shark, let's go up here towards the top and let's add just a little circle here for the nose. And just a little bit lower than that, let's add a big circle for our eye. And inside that circle, we're gonna add a smaller circle. You can also add a smaller circle inside for a little highlight. And there you have your shark's eye. Last but not least, for our shark, let's add the gills. These are just little curved lines that go along the side of our shark. Now, to make it look like your shark is actually screaming something, we're gonna start with a sideways letter V inside the mouth. And I am going to erase this line in between the teeth, the top and bottom teeth, so I can draw my speech bubble. And then at the top of that V, I'm going to start, I'm gonna make a big circle, as big as I can fit in that space, and come back and meet the bottom. Looks like I need to erase some more teeth. And now I can redraw that little line for the side of the mouth. 
if you would like to make it look like your shark is under the water or maybe you want the wa your shark's head to be sticking out of the water, that's a cool idea too. What I did for waves at the top, I used a wavy line, a gentle wavy line. I didn't make it super crazy. And since I have waves going this direction, I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna start low, come up for another wave, down and up for another one. And it kind of looks like there's waves moving. You can add a rainbow at the top if you'd like, or you could add a boat or something. Now let's keep this PG. We are making this for school purposes. So, you know, let's keep it shark friendly, okay? Um, so my shark is saying world peace. I feel like that's something we should really be striving for around our world, working together. Um, so that is what I wanted my shark to be screaming, but you could be having your shark scream for equality. Maybe you want your shark to be talking about climate change or recycling. That's very important for our animals that live in the ocean. Also to not litter. We don't want our trash to end up in the ocean as well. Or maybe you're hungry and you want your shark to be screaming for more ice cream. That's up to you. You would just simply write that inside your speech bubble and finish off with some colors. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun.